Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Duels. So, yes, you get two Daily Duels today, so of course, Pendulum Tra Chaos Dragons got taken off. So now, we get to see some Burning Abyss. Yes, Burning Abyss is now on Daily Duels. Used to be on Vitamin Y. Now it's on Daily Duels. Not a lot of decks go ahead and do that change, but here, here in, uh, here in, on my channel, that's what we do. That's what we do. Alright, so I'm going to summon Tour Guide. Tour Guide, you know what? Summon, actually, summon me Rubric because I can actually get the original setup play fairly nice right now. It's actually, it's actually doable, so. Of course, go ahead and go into Dante? Should I go into Dante? That's the question. Do I want Dante? Uh, I can go into Alucard and Alucard can just pop that back row for me. I'll go into Alucard. Dante is fine, but I'm going to go into Alucard right now. Response. Bottomless warning, something, whatever. No. Alright. Well, I'll kind of go ahead and detach and blow up his one set card. Really thought it was going to be something, but maybe it's chainable. Oh, it's chainable. Okay. I mean, I can go into downer. <laughs> Downer's not too terrible. I said I did that play on purpose, so. Said that. Said that. Said that. Pass. Alright, so you got a dead fiendish chain fist. Now I got downer. Nice 25 beater. Ooh. So, yes, uh, Burning Abyss is now here on Daily Duels. Ooh, UAs. Alright. I've been facing this deck for a couple of times now, so it should be interesting to see. Oh, you're gonna trigger my monster. That's cute. So as you say, once per turn during either player's turn, a card effect is activated. You can discard one card and negate the activation if you do destroy this card. Mmm. Mm 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 mm. That is so good. I'm gonna warning that. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna warning that. <laughs> so you can take my other card. You can have that. That ain't what I'm mad at. Ooh, Mathematician. Uh, I'm gonna spin back his field spell because his field spell is pretty much like one of the key ways that his deck functions is it's through his field spell. So, go ahead and summon Rubric back. So first freaking duel that this deck is on here, we actually go for Virgil. Crane Crane, definitely don't need it in here. Yes, sir, Virgil. Virgil. Ah, oh, shit! I misclicked. That was gay. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow, that was hella gay. You saw that? I went to go click this, but then it freaking brought up the freaking menu thing. I didn't even realize it was going to do that. That was totally my bad. Totally my bad. Misclicked. Totally misclicked. Man, that sucks. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and give me a tour guy. Totally just... Ugh. Makes me sad. <laughs> Skarm, I should have added a Burning Abyss monster. That was my bad. I need to learn how to use this deck 100% correctly. Again? Seems like whenever someone gets this one card, it keeps going. Like, it's snowball. It's like a snowball effect. Whenever I see that card. Like, most definitely. Most definitely. like a complete down the hill snowball effect so I fucked that up <laughs> surprise surprise Daniel fucked up again pretty good at that all right I'm gonna go for Dante ah uh, I knew like I use this deck 100% correctly because it's pretty clear right now that I'm just fucking up so that's good like I said it seems it seems like whenever I see someone gets monarch storm force on me once they get it again, and they get it again, and they get it again, so... 
Like I said, I'm not going to be surprised if he just keeps getting that card on my ass, so. I do a Dante effect. Just do... I'll mill three. I'm a glorified card trooper. Sir? Sure. Sure, sir. I'll summon my freaking Virgil right back. I forgot you could do that. Like, as soon as the menu pulled up, they said, you want to send Virgil? And you want to summon Virgil? Like, yes! <laughs> I love summoning Virgil. <laughs> Alright, you go to defense, of course. Alright, so. Of course. Yes. Skarm. Uh, yeah, you really only need one of your tuners just to have access to your Virgil, so that's fine. Yep, go ahead and give me you. Alright, so that might be it. That might be it, depending on what my opponent does here. Like I said, this is a tough duel. Tough duel. This deck's dirty, but it's meant to be dirty. Just test out the strength of, of, of uh, Burning Abyss, of course. You can run as far as what they're doing. Uh. Let's check one of That way you can't go ahead and return yourself to the field to go ahead and special summon another UA monster. Like, how about... no. <laughs> Ooh, that powered jersey, though. Alright. Another one? Nice and meaty. That's it. Surrender. Quit. Yep. <laughs> like I said, this deck, this deck, it's gonna be, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and get another duel in. Right back. Alright, let's do this again. Alright, so, of course, yesterday's video was called Unconcluded for a reason, because I didn't get to finish. So, let me go ahead and uh, just begin talking. So, uh, of course, since it's a Thursday video, I'll be talking about my Wednesday. So, Wednesday, which will lead into the next story, is, uh, just an uh, education class and I have women's literature. Education class, I swear to freaking god, I hate projects. I hate projects. Out of everything to do in fucking college, I hate projects. I hate them the most. They're just, just, ugh, you know? I would almost do anything than a project. Anything. I'd rather write an essay. I I'd rather... I'd rather take a test. I, I, projects are like the worst, especially projects that you have to freaking present. You know, if it was like make a poster, turn it in, you know, whatever, I could probably BS that. But it's a project that I had to freaking present. So as you guys know, my, my topic is super boring. All right, double rota, cool. My topic super duper, just really boring, like extremely boring. Oh, it's a synchro deck. Alright, well, let's, see, let's see what you can pull off first turn, Mr. Synchro Deck. You got double Rota and didn't even search for a, a Junk Synchron. Wow. That was kind of anticlimactic, I must say. <laughs> I must say. Ah. Uh, I got plays, I just don't know what to do with them. Alright, I can uh, special summon you, normal summon you, hello. <laughs> Get out of here, why do you? Why does that always pop up? Like, I turn that shit off and it still pops up. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna take the dual slot, I'm just gonna make a Dante. Uh... I can already go for Rubric. That's the funny thing, I can already go for Rubric. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get Rubik set up. I'm okay right now. You said you really don't need your, you only need one Rubik. <laughs> I swear, you only need one. Yeah. Rubik, go ahead and detach. I don't get anything from you, but that's fine. I'll go ahead and mill three. One, two, three. Ah, uh, mill Skarm. Not terrible, mill. Mill my rank up, too. That makes me sad. 
And you go to defense. Get a tanky. Set you. Set you. Go ahead, Mr. Synchro Summon Player. Of course, I would love to activate Skarm's effect. Skarm. I guess get me another tour guide. I'm chill. I'm so chill right now. Ah, uh, anyway. Oh, you're just gonna quit. That's cool. That's cool. I totally, I totally don't blame you. This deck is just ooh. All right, let's go ahead and get another duel in. Like I said, this deck. Rare right back. All right, we're back. Took a while for someone to come and duel, but it's cool. It's cool. I'm chill. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, project suck. Project suck the worst. What's this hand? You summon one from my graveyard, don't you? All right. Well, this hand's actually kind of bad. Actually, you know, it's not too terrible. Yeah, yeah, kind of is actually. Kind of is. I can special summon Sir, normal summon the other Sir, make a Dante D tax, and then do all that shenanigans. But overall, not the best of hands. It's the best of hands, and they're the worst of hands. And this is one of the worst of hands. Yeah. No surprise there. You know, Daniel get a shitty hand. Surprise. Oh, Light Swords. Or maybe Shadals. Nope, Light Swords. Light Swords. All right. Light Sword Ruler. All right. No, Chaos Dragons. Alright, Chaos Dragons. Right, yep, it's definitely Chaos Dragons. Damn! Double, 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 double. I'm seeing doubles here. Hello? Some Mew. Normal some Mew. XCU2 into, of course, you. Detach you. Of course, I won't get your effect, which makes me sad. Hopefully, I'll mill something nice. Nope, milled all my good shit. Alright. Cross my fingers and hope you don't have an honest. No, you don't. Good. Under defense. Damn, this hand is ass. Hand is straight ass cheeks right now. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and go into downward. Just so I could be a nice beater. There we go. Special vanities. So you're gonna go like Dragon Roller? Banish the Wyvern or something? Or are you just gonna take the duel extremely slow by this? Nope, Lumina. No, that's fine. Lumina, pay costs. Wow, Lumina Pitch of Lumina, then what the fuck do you have in your hand? Nah. You don't need her. You don't need him. Definitely don't need him. Just stay with Lumina. That's all you need is Lumina. You don't need it. Definitely don't need it. <laughs> Alright. I pierce damage, it's this card attack to attack. I go ahead and detach next turn. Alright. That's cool with me. I'm surprised you didn't quit. I really am. Anyway. If you guys know, you guys probably hate projects too. And the stupid thing is I'm in college, you know? If I was in high school, middle school, I can understand projects, but really college? Co oh my god. Fuck projects. Fuck them. That's one of the reasons why I want to be a math teacher and not any other kind of teacher. Because I know the pain of fucking projects. Like, I swear to God. Like, I, I dare my freaking calculus teacher to freaking give me a project. I will freaking just... Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. I'd, I'd key y'all that bitch. <laughs> Hell no. So, yeah. A project is super boring. It's 10 to 15 minute presentation. I probably talked about this before, but I'll just bring it up now since I, you know... I want you guys to definitely know what I'm complaining about. My topic is really boring. I didn't even get to choose it. It's uh, the difference between collective bargaining states and right to work states. I know. Are, are you asleep? Are you, wake, what, wake up. Wake up. I know. I know. Me even just stating my topic puts you to sleep. But I, like I said, I didn't fucking choose my topic. So, yeah. It's fucking just boring. I know. It's fucking boring. Are you going to end your turn or what? I'm waiting on you, dude. Like, are you done? Do you have something to play? Like we've just been sitting here at the end turn screen for like fucking 
forever. Like, hello? We've just been sitting here forever. Like, did fucking Dev Pro just freeze up or something? Like, hello? Like, what the fuck is going on here? Can I still do things? I can still view my cards. I can view my graveyard. Like, this isn't moving yet. He's ending his turn. I don't know. Fuck it. We'll get another duel in. Bear back. Alright, that was weird. I've never experienced that before. Like, either he was just trying to make get me to quit or what. I don't know. I don't know. That was weird. Alright. This hand is not too bad. Not too terrible. It's playable. I'll set you and set the Karma Cut. I decided to go to Mega Chaos and go with the Karma Cut over um, Regeki Break. You know, kind of like Regeki Break just because I get to pop back row, but you know, Karma Cut, I get to banish a monster. And you know, Competitive-wise, it's much more important to go ahead and banish that monster than, of course, pop it by a card effect. That's not the wisest thing to do, so. Wow. Well, guess we're going to take this duel extremely slow. Like, screech haltingly slow. Alright. Flip up your Shadal monster. Right? Oh, it's Nefclops. Oh. Okay. Well, this should be annoying. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm gonna comment cut the shit out of that guy because he's actually really good. Oh, it's in the graveyard. Oh damn it. I thought it was in the deck. It's in the graveyard. My bad. Of course give me a tour guard. We actually have some interesting plays up ahead. Phoenix, alright. Summon tour guide. Wow, no no delay or anything. We're summoning rubric. Like I said, you only need one rubric, especially with the crane cranes. Get me nice and set up. We're gonna go for a... Um, 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 um. I'd rather get one of them face down, so I'll go for Alucard. Give me one of them face downs. I don't care which one it is, just give me one of them. The fuck is that? Okay, never seen that card before. <laughs> like, hello? Back? Alright. Downard. It's a good thing that Vanities will probably be hit by the time, uh, frickin', uh, what's it called, rolls around. Nefclops or Necros or whatever the fuck they're called roll around. Because Vanities fucks this deck up. Bad. Just. Bad. So. Ronic, search. That's fine. You can have that, that ain't what I'm mad at. I'm chill right now. So, fuck projects. Fuck projects, I swear to God. Like, projects are the worst. Like, if you guys can think of anything worse to do than projects in school, go ahead and, and tell me in the comment section below, because right now I'm just like, I hate projects. You know? So, gotta do this lame ass project. Don't wanna do it. Still gotta do it, of course. Kaleido Mirror. Nah. How about you just don't? I swear to God, Vanity's just <laughs> just shits on this deck. Just compl just take a fucking just take a shit right on top of this fucking just fucking drop your fucking fucking mirror on the ground. Pull my pants down. Take a shit on it on this deck. What's he doing? He's discarded. Oh, so he gets to add one to his hand, alright. 
This deck just loves getting, recycling shit and getting shit, searching shit. Sure. Gets another frickin' mirror. Alright. You're just gonna end your turn. You pretty much, at this point, you pretty much lost. Yep. Go ahead and quit. <laughs> yeah, you, there ain't shit you can do. As I said, Kaiser, I mean, Kaiser. Vanities should probably be hit by the time this deck comes out. This deck, Vanity, if Vanities goes on hit again, I'll be shocked. Cause Vanities just, it's just that card. It's just that card. I don't know. Just shit. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, we watch more projects. Um, he actually decided to actually extend the presentations a week. So good thing is I got all weekend to work on my project. I actually started working on it a little bit. I know it's like. A barren PowerPoint, like it's literally just text with white background, black lettering, just no art at all, no no flair to it, just blank ass PowerPoint. And uh, yeah, so uh, we finished three students' presentations, so now we have eight out of twenty-five, and we only got two more days left. I don't think we're gonna be able to do it. It really depends on how long these presentations are uh, by these other students, or if they even do the presentation at all. Like I said, it's only worth four points, which is the exact same as everything else in the class, but course to get that extra credit bonus you gotta do every assignment including the project so yeah if I didn't have to do it I wouldn't do it if I could if I could substitute it for anything else I definitely would but yeah um so that was boring um uh, uh, Amish girl was there yeah she was absent on Monday but she was there today and um but she she got a Wii U I know Amish girl with a Wii U like damn she, I don't even have a Wii U so ooh. You know, she wanted to get it for Smash. Apparently, she has high rewards and she has um, uh, Mario Kart 8, which are actually two games that we can actually play with Daniel friends. So yeah, you know, Mario Kart 8 is what's going on right now. We can play Hyrule Warrior. So shameless plug there. Anyway, uh, she's been playing video games so much that she uh, never got to uh, do her homework. So the time that she would chill with me, she goes and does her homework now. So it's just lame. Makes me kind of sad because you know I like chilling with her because she actually through her presence and sitting there and talking to her it actually you know allows time to go by so I'm not bored and I she actually makes me want to it actually it's like okay well I might as well go in the class if she's not there with me and I'm just by myself or you know the Yu-Gi-Oh table you know and sometimes there's no one at the Yu-Gi-Oh table um, I really won't be compelled to go to my uh, women's literature class which is bad because I need to go to that class so I've already missed what two out of the Two out of the fucking six days I can miss, so there's only like four more weeks of school, so I shouldn't be too bad, but yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, I actually hung out with I don't, I didn't, I never gave her a nickname. I guess I'll call her, I don't know, Jew girl. I guess I don't know. She's Hebrew. I know that. I know she's Jewish. So yeah, I guess I hung out with her. Uh, so I thought I talked about her before. The girl that I that uh, teaches preschoolers and uh, the one that I talked to and then freaking uh, uh, and then Amish girl just stormed off her I was talking with her I chilled with her I actually went to the counselor real quick to ask him a stupid question which is so stupid but <laughs> you know what I probably just and uh, I, I just dropped my uh, just dropped one of my Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I was having in my hand damn it I'll probably actually just finish talking about this tomorrow because this video is long enough and I need to, really need to get to bed. It's actually kind of late. So, we'll go ahead and end this video. So, I'll talk about it tomorrow. So, once again, another unconcluded video, but it's chill. But it's totally chill. So, welcome Burning Abyss to uh, Daily Duels. You're really dirty and you're disgusting. I hope you get hit a lot. And, uh, yeah. But for now, I gotta know my enemy to play my enemy. So, you know. I, uh, that's, one of, that's one of the reasons why these, de these top tier decks are on Daily Duels. Because by playing them, I know how they're played. I know what when to hit what cards, when to make the move, and stuff like that, so, yeah. Like I said, so far, I think Rubric Out 1 is fine, you know, Virgil's good and all, but, you know, I can totally, I really only need one, so this chill as well. Alright, so, uh, so goodbye, Pendulum Cash Dragons, hello, Burning Abyss, so, yay. And then I don't have to wake up with the Krakadon tag with, uh, Tiago, I just do that during Sundays, or I'm not that busy besides Dragon Ball Z League, so, yeah. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duel. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow using Heroes.